It's Rachel Granger with Red Carpet Report, and tonight we're in Hollywood at the book launch of Life Lessons of a Total Failure. How are you? Fine, how are you? You look, pardon me, you look staggeringly beautiful. Thank you so much. I really enjoy this. Where did you get this jacket? It's Sue Wong. Sue Wong's having a big old sample sale, so what, you, you see. Why not? You put the word sample and sale together, and you need to just basically Immediate restrain attendance. me. <laughs> you need to restrain me. So what I didn't know when I first moved to LA is that they have tons of these sample sales for all these companies all the time. Yes, it's not just Filene's Basement. It's not just like once a year, you know, the day after Thanksgiving. It is the last Friday of every month downtown. I just gave away the secret, ladies. No, okay, we're gonna, I'm just maybe gonna cut that because I just want to be the only one that knows it. Bye. Bye, no more yeah, for you yeah, guys, yeah. just for me. She's gonna tell me all of it now. Sue Wong is, happens to be one of my favorite designers because everyone looks good in a Wong. And even though it's 5,000 degrees outside. 5,000 degrees I don't Kelvin get outside. Kelvin, um, I decided to put on my fabulous You know what, I love jacket. it. Yeah. Because why not? Why not, you know? You get, get on the red life. carpet, have a, have, a, have, a, have a glass of club soda and take it off. Right. Absolutely, and then you're just uh, relaxing, and then, and then having a good time. Free, loose, and easy. Oh, because sometimes you need that. Because sometimes you're just easy. You are the, like the coolest person I've ever talked to. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, and I hopefully, hopefully I'll remain that way uh, through the through the rest of the evening. In, in at least the end of the evening. At the end of the evening. What is one of the things you love about a book? Uh, launch as opposed to like a film launch. I get to take it home and read it because I'm a voracious reader. Uh, my best voracious friend is reader. Love reading. Yeah. And uh, a film launch is wonderful. You get two hours or three hours or if it's a, you know, a David Lean film, it's eight hours of, <laughs> of heaven. But then you, at a, a book launch, you get something you can take home and hold in your hand. You don't get to, you read it on a Kindle, no, 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 no. Get, you know. Oh, I'm, I'm hard copy too. Tangible, hard I copy. Need the paper. Yep. I want to know that it's dangerous. If I reach in yes. too quick to my purse, I will yes. get a paper cut. That's it. Good girl. Thank you. I, I'm trying to get it from you. I'm trying to like wean it. I'm wean. giving it to you. I siphon it well, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you feel about um, people who write books that are so candid? And, oh, and I think, authentic. Oh, I think it's incredibly brave. It's it's the bravest thing. It's even braver than like a fearless acting role where you, you know you sort of you really sort of go there because you're still kind of camouflaged by that character. But um, and, you know, you put it all out there in a book, and and unless you go and personally take off every copy off the shelves, it's out there. Yeah. It's out there. So I feel I feel the same way. I feel there's so much bravery involved with telling your story 100% and and letting everyone just take it as they will. Take it, you know what? You can control what you put out there. You can't control anybody's reaction to it. It's as simple as that. And you know what? It's not your job to. Thank God no, for that. No, I know. Isn't that great? When we relieve ourselves of that burden, it's like right. I put it out there. You don't like it, I'll move on. I'm just like, you don't need to like it. It's actually for me. That's right. If you don't like it, then it's not then, for you either. Then, it, then it's just one of the 6.5 billion people on this planet that I don't have to have anything to do with. Thank God for that, because the public is exhausting That's sometimes. Right. That's right. And they're big. So many but of them. a lot of them are also really cool. So be nice and smile too, y'all. Really cool. You never know who you're going to meet like That's this. That's right. Right here. That's right. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen here, hit like, subscribe, and in the comments below, tell me what's the hardest thing you've had to overcome.